You are about to listen to a very, very rare recording of Joseph Coyne. I don't think this recording exists anywhere else. The only people who might be having this are the UPDF. Other than the UPDF, I doubt if this recording exists anywhere. And yes, Coyne called us Ugandese again. Can you imagine Ugandese? Welcome back to this channel again. Once again, this is your brother Nguyen Lao Dog, the heritage enthusiast based in Lango. Do you love such historical recordings? If so, please do me a favor. Just do for me three things, simple things. One, subscribe and hit that bell icon if you haven't done so, that is. Two, like this video so that YouTube notifies your friends that there is some good heritage video somewhere. Please come and watch. Then three, please comment in the comment section. I love to know your thoughts about some of the things I post. And it, I just, it helps me to know that, okay, there are people outside there watching also. So do for me those three things, please. I love such historical recordings. I have quite a few of them scattered around the house. And that's where the problem is. Because I don't have an organized system of, you know, cataloging them and archiving. So recently I noticed that some of them are beginning to show signs of decay. That's when I thought, what's the point of keeping these things? Let me share, with, share some of them with friends on, on, on YouTube. On this particular one, there are two parts to it. On the first part is the voice of Joseph Coyne. Uh, Joseph Coyne and Vincent O.T. called on a popular radio station in, in a Cherry Land called, it was actually called Radio La Chambel, that's how the Coyne people used to call them, Radio La Chambel, after a very popular show host there who dedicated most of his efforts in in bringing peace to a Cherry Land. He's one of the unsung heroes of the peace we are now enjoying in Northern Uganda. Someone called La Chambel. I don't know where he is these days. I would love to meet him. But in this recording, Vincent Oti and Joseph Coyne called. You will listen to what Joseph Coyne said this week. Next week, it will be Vincent Oti. Vincent Oti is, 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 I think the guy was just mad. Some of the things he said over radio were just disgusting. I'll try. I don't know whether YouTube will accept me to upload it, but I'll try. In this rare recording, in today's part, you listen to Joseph Coyne talking tough. <laughs> and yes, Joseph Coyne called us Ugandese again. Please, Joseph. We are not Ugandese. We are Ugandans. <laughs> Please listen up to the hand. There is some drama at the end when the moderator tried to ambush Coyne by bringing in one of his defected commanders. Coyne did not like it. And also, please do me a favor. There is some gentleman who asked Coyne the question he was answering, some RDC. I couldn't quite get his name. I listened to it a few times, but the name eluded me. Do you happen to know the gentleman? Please let me know in the comment section below. Let's dive in. Uh, Ladit Joseph Kony, uh, RDC Max, I'm going to come to Penye Kong. Ladit Joseph Kony, I believe you still remember me. You know me very well. We fought in Amuria, in Teso. Some of your team members moved with me up to Serere. That's uh, uh, Beba Beba, uh, Welike, uh, Leti, Oti, Lagony, and others. You still remember me very well, I know. And uh, now I'm saying, why don't you trust? Why don't you trust some of us now who are in government and what we know what government thinks about those who have fought this government, the former rebels? I've been trying to get in touch with you, but it has been very difficult. Today, I have had an opportunity to hear your voice, and this your exact voice is not somebody talking but you yourself. And you have also had mine. You don't doubt about it. Why don't you name your team? You talk to government. We are not telling you lies. 
we are not telling you, but the, the president of this country has always said what he has fulfilled. He said he has bad, uh, uh, pardoned the former rebel, and many of us are now in the government, you know. You, one of your commanders has been a big commander in Gulu here, that's where Lique, that was your escort, you remember? And many others. I don't think you would really doubt us. Why don't you name your team? You start this talk. If you don't know, you have lost so many of your people. People have died in a Choli Reserve region. And if you see it, you'll regret it. You'll not like it. And you remember what I asked you in Teso when you came there. That do you have a political wing? Your answer was very, very clear. That we have LOCs. Those are the people who are using as a political wing. But I believe by now you have a very strong political wing. That's my belief. I think you have. Why can't you ask your political wing to formulate a team that will talk to government, Joseph? Uh, this is what I'm. Um, this is what I'm going to say. You be careful and hear what I'm going to say. Not in your mind now that I trust everybody. You didn't put up any. I trust you. All the people of Uganda, I trust them because I'm a Ugandan. So, uh, this, uh, what you say, I see that you are, you are, you are taking this uh, case as a simple thing. Because you say that I don't trust people. If I do not trust you, or if I do not trust the people of Uganda, you think I will talk to you? I will not talk to you. I trust everybody. If you are I trust him. If you are some very, I trust him. If you are very, I trust him. I love everybody in Uganda. That is why I'm fighting for them. And the people who are dying now is not my people. It's the people of Uganda. It's the people of Uganda. Actually, it's the, it's the people of Uganda. They were Ugandans. So, what I'm, um, I'm trying to tell you, the way you, the government, taking this piece uh, of is not good. It's not our people talk. So we want a clean way, a good way. Me myself, I have many my political wings. Some of them were in London, some of them were in Uganda. Yeah, I have many of them. But you, the, you are the, your government is the one who is confusing them. They are confused. Because when we start to talk with you uh, in a good way, you go and interfere with many cases. Like uh, uh, Rosma, like Kachokhan uh, like uh, as you receive, which is very, very, very complicated to, to understand what is going on in the north. Konye, let me make this clear. The government is very much interested in talking peace with you, so that we give the Achori a chance for peace. We would want to hear just one thing from you now. Men mention your peace team. Mention the members of your peace team. Identify a place of your choice where we, the government peace team and your team can meet and talk peace. Stop ambushing vehicles, because you are killing so many, and not soldiers. They, you, you stop abduction, stop abducting young girls, because most of them are suffering at the hands of your soldiers and your commanders. Just mention your peace team, identify a place, stop ambushing, stop abducting, then we shall talk peace. The government is very, very much interested. You can see what General Bamuzi has done. Now West Nile is going to have peace and you have development. You may have your demands, of course. Government will listen to all the demands that you have. The peace team will sit down, listen to all the demands that you have, and we consider them accordingly. So that, so that there is peace. And, and you have said that you trust them certainly, and, and you trust all Ugandans. Then give them a chance to live in peace. Just mention, make, 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 make mention of your team and we get going in the Gujarati. Uh, my friend, we are not killing actually, we are not abducting children. We are not doing any bad things in northern Uganda. All those dirty works, all, all those uh, rooms was done by the government, not by the NRA. You know, I go to my command me. Uh, that is how we the rebels, that is how we recruit our people. But we don't have that the children. How can the children move for 100 miles or for 20 miles out and the children do that? 
but don't you remember what he was doing? I think I was doing one. 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 เอ่อวันวันเอ็นอะไรเอ็มว่าอุ้งชูชูมีวันวันอุ้งไม่กี่วันอุ้งอุ้งไม่กี่วันอุ้งเบอร์สิวันอุ้งไม่กี่วันอ
，我中华区的那部你必须要，哎，你必须要给你，刚刚阿叔好，嗯，听龙马飞好，哎，你话哦，你那部你必须要，刚刚阿叔你必须要，你话叫你你必须要，马上，叫马上，你你你必须要，中间你，按照被集中单位里面。Tiada tiada dana mama miru lock kiri si mana, kena orang mina dan sekar mana? Anak ani, anak right. Ah, dek ya tu, ni ah gol tim bos review FM kita ni ni tu pas gol tim bos ni tu mak saya tak miru you pi wawa nak kiri lecian. My last piece of advice is one: stop abducting young children. Give them a chance to enjoy childhood. That one. Stop ambushing. Tot 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 tot. <laughs> but before you also do to, 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 to on me, please let me know the name of that gentleman in case you know him. Please let me know in the comment section below. And please once again do subscribe, hit that bell button, like it and comment. And I have other videos also. Please watch them, similar videos. You can watch them.